So this is going to be a demonstration of what I like to call joy flick, which is a combination of joystick and flick stick. Uh, so basically I have gyro enabled and I'm playing Crisis Remastered right now. Um, and if I move the right analog stick slightly, it functions as a standard uh, joystick mouse. Uh, and then if I move the joystick to the outer edge, then it becomes a flick stick. And this is useful because you can then do 360 degree movements and if there's enemies behind you, you can quickly do a 180 and then you can reposition and uh, use gyro to basically finish the job. And this offers the best of both, both worlds because by default, flick stick does not give you the ability to reposition your camera vertically. So for instance, if, if after a while you've been using gyro, your camera may get stuck staring at the sky or even the the ground and being able to adjust your camera requires a couple of different things you might have to use the trackpad or if you don't even have a trackpad let's say you're using like the PS5 controller then uh, there's no real easy way to reorient the camera uh, and so uh, you can use something called reset camera which involves flicking the camera up to the sky and then flicking it back down to the horizon and the reason that way that one sucks is because it's really fast and it's disorienting and half the time it doesn't even work so it'll flick the camera to the ground or it'll flick the camera to the sky and it just doesn't work half the time and so being able to nudge the camera up and down uh, with the analog stick gives you basically granular control over the the camera vertically and you don't have to remove your thumb from the right joystick you can keep your thumb on the joystick and it just feels more natural to do that. So I'm just going to demonstrate a little bit of this. This is Crisis Remastered, and I can quickly move around the environment and and position the camera wherever I want. And right now I'm going down a hill, so I can aim the I can aim the camera down with the right joystick, and I can maintain the Steam Deck in the exact most comfortable position. And uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and. I think I've been spotted. Oh. I'm still mastering these controls. So, let's see here. Obviously, I suck. So after I've been playing this for a while, things will start to feel more natural. Uh, right now, I keep forgetting to use my cloak and my armor effectively, and I keep firing when I have cloak active. So uh, that's just because I suck. But after playing for about 30 minutes, things will start to feel natural, and you'll be able to uh, take out multiple enemies pretty much really easily. That's another thing is if you're not careful when you're using the analog stick you might accidentally activate the flick stick so um, it does require a little bit of uh, finesse. So in this case I'm going down a hill and you know, now I'm basically perfectly straight with the horizon, but when going down a hill, you might want to angle the camera down slightly with the analog stick. Try to make it across this bridge without getting caught. They heard, they saw me. Wow, I can't believe that I actually did it. 
I thought it was too far away. Oh, yep, I died. I think I wandered off the beaten path and I, I went on a, a mine or something. But you get the idea. Um, I feel like the uh, the, the uh, joy flick, as I'm calling it, offers the best of both worlds. Being able to reposition the camera vertically or even left and right without having to take your thumb off the joystick. And then being able to do 180 degree movements quickly. And, and also, when you're going down a hill you can get the steam deck in the exact most comfortable direction uh, so that that's a demonstration of joy flick